Chapter 2 Initial Setup of the HK1 and the HK2 Hara and Kassen Microwave Instrument System. We will use this manual as a guide. So get out your manual and please go to page 4, starting at the top, looking at B. There are several parameters to check and one measurement to make when setting the HK microwave system. You can do a single point or a multi point calibration, but in this particular guide we're going to just show a single point calibration. The front of the panel of the HK1 and the HK2 looks like figure 1. There are three hardware keys, run, clear and enter, that is always their function, and there are three software keys. The software keys perform the function that's stated above them. So if you select this key, you'll see the measure menu. If I collect, select this key, I'll go to the main menu, the main screen. And if I go here, I'll scroll to the next menu. So, and this is typically the scroll key, back to the main menu. Now let's turn to page 5. Okay, page 5, section 3, calibration. Procedures for the initial single point calibration. What we have to do now is we have to set the unit up so that we can do a, a single point calibration by first performing a reference measurement. So the first thing we're going to do is set up some of the parameters. So if you go to section 3, step 1, we're going to check the slope and the offset. Press the next, which is the scroll. We can see calibrate, like display 7. We, we select that. Coefficient, like display 28. And now we see two variables. We see an AO and an A1. The AO is the offset. The A1 is the slope. If you look at display 33, you will see that where you want these is 0 and minus 0.235. These are exactly where you want them to be. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to check the linear temperature coefficient. To do that, we get to the temperature menu, temperature menu, and then temperature measurement on. Next, there's no offset here. Next, that should be the real temperature. We don't have a temperature hooked up here, so that's not a real value. That's the value that you'll get when you don't have a temperature hooked up. Um, this is saying the temperature compensation is on, but let's, let's leave it off. Okay, we go to the next screen. Even though the temperature compensation is off, as you see from your book, we want to enter TK1, which will be a value of 1. Now, the temperature reference is read in when you do your, when you do your uh, uh, reference measurement. So there's nothing to input there right now. So after that, we're going to look and we're going to check the current inputs. So let's go back to the measure parameters menu. And in the measure, measure parameters menu, we'll have the 4 to 20, which you look in display 5 on page 6. You'll see that uh, the 4 milliamp here is set to 20. So what we'll do is we'll use the cursor to move the cursor over there and the scroll to make it 2 and then enter. So now the 4 milliamp out is 20 and that you go to the next one. The next one it says 100, we're going to make it 50. So we move the cursor to here, we'll make this a 5. Enter. 0, enter. So now it's 50. So now the 4 milliamp is 20, the, the, the 20 milliamp is 50. And now we're ready to perform the reference measurement.